We got area code 561 on the horn. What's going on? Are you kidding me? What, what are we, we have some Jesus freaks coming on out here now? It's Halloween, all right? I mean, don't you religious freaks have something to do today, like Saints Day or something? Which is convenient enough, but, I mean, don't, don't y'all have something to do today? I mean, Jesus Christ. I mean, it's bad enough that the Catholic Church invented this disgusting, ridiculous vampire fixation. Oh, yeah, they did it, all right? All right, the, 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 the vampire Count Dracula nonsense... It's a, it's a figment out of the imagination of the Catholic Church, all right? And if you don't believe me, how, do you, how come you think holy water, of all things, holy water, which is just some piss water that, that's given a Hail Mary by some stupid idiot in a goddamn priest suit, that it's just given one of the... 781, what's up? You're on the horn. Hello? What's up? Oh, not much. I was just wondering, uh, you know, let's just talk about Halloween for a little bit, all right? All right, let's just, talk about Halloween. What, what about it? I don't know. I just, thought, I just thought that whole thing about the church was kind of funny, and I was just, no, you aren't doing anything, but um, I was just going to go with a banana this year for Halloween, because why the hell not? Uh, that, that was lame, stupid, and a waste of our time and energy, and I hope you get uh, uh, cancer, uh, a cancerous growth at the base of your spine for that ridiculous, grotesque, stupid r sentence fragment you were sputtering out your sentence hole. 205, what's up? You're on the horn. Yo, Ghost, happy Halloween. Shout out to hey, the what's engineer. what's going on, man? Uh, not much, man. I uh, just wanted to say about the modern-day lynching, I think all nukers should be hanged. Ah, uh, you sick son of a bitch. You, I mean, I, I, you know, you people are sick sons of bitches, you know that? You are a sick son of a bitch, all right? I want to hear from you, 779, you're on the horn, what's up? Now, you're taking too long, you milky liquor. How about 213, you're on the horn, what's up? How you doing? Yeah, I want to know why you lie to people. What do you mean, why do I lie to people? Why don't you explain, instead of saying some sentence fragment, you, you half a fruit-sounded prick? I heard on um, on the internet that your real name is Jerry Schrodenberg, and you're from New York. Jesus Christ. Who am I again? You're Jerry Schrodenberg from New York. You're Josh, Josh Schrodenberg? Is that what you said my name is? Schrodenberg. Jerry Schrodenberg. Jerry Schrodenberg. Now, what, what, well, who is Jerry Schrodenberg? He better be doing something rather prominent, because I'm going to be insulted if he isn't. That's you. Your, your name is Jerry Schrodenberg. I learned that on Infowars.com. You learned that on Infowars.com? Well, wait, 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 Alex Jones is trying to, what, what, what figure me out now? What, what is, he, is he coming after me? What, does Alex Jones want a war or something? Yeah. Is that what he, oh, let me tell you something, Alex Jones, you fat pot belly prick! You better step off. Do you understand what I'm saying there, Alex Jones? You better step off. I know that you're a little upset because I'm yanking your little stupid charade right out of the fear-mongering closet. And now you're going to sit over here and try to, oh, look, I can expose this NWO so-called informing. Yeah, shut up, all right? You need to back off, Alex Jones. I'm telling you that right now. You're starting to get personal, you son of a bitch, all right? You better back off with your stupid little info wars crap, all right? I'm going to tell you something right now, Alex Jones. You want a war, we'll take you to war, all right? But you better back up. Back the fuck up. Uh, we got area code 818. What's up? You're on the horn. Hey, guys. Just wanted to comment on, like, the East Coast and everything. Um, it really sucks because I'm in Miami and a lot of, uh, like, I don't know how we would say the pipelines went down and stuff, and one even went down in the building next to me. Uh, but on brighter news, I have a message from Mike. Wait, wait a minute. Uh, I, I should have hung you up right when you said Miami, first of all. Yeah, I, sh I should have just hung you up right when you said Miami because I don't like Florida, all right? I mean, Florida, not only is it geographically positioned, but it is the absolute colon of America. It is the utter colon of America. I mean, has anybody ever been to Florida and seen those assholes out there, for Christ's sake? It's a jungle out there, all right? I mean, it's a freaking jungle out there. You know, you know the, the latest uh, criminal trend out there in Florida 
is for the criminals to purposely bump you from behind in a car, and then when you come out, you know, look at the damage, they go out and give you a jack move, and they jack you for everything, including your car. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, and that, that's great, isn't it? Give me a freaking break. Anyway, who, who else we got going on over here? Let's take a couple more callers on this goddamn Occupy Wall Street nonsense here. Uh, area code 520, what's up? Yeah, we don't want to hear it. Uh, 626, what you, what's up? What do you think about Occupy Wall Street? Hey, Ghost, um, I wanted to tell you four things. I'll be quick, okay? Uh, All right, hurry up. Number, number one, I think your show is awesome. Number two, uh, I want to say shout-out to an en- the engineer. Cool. And uh, the engineer. Get, get, shout get out to an engineer. All right, wait, just shut up, all right? Just sit there and shut up already, all right? I mean, Jesus Christ, what, do you want to talk to the engineer now, for Christ's sake? What, are we chums or something? Jesus Christ. You see what I'm saying, man? You give somebody a break, and then, look, they want to take a mile, for Christ's sake. I'm not your pal, all right? I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna give the mic to the engineer so that you can sit here and give me, uh, have a talking to for Christ's sake, all right? Shut up. Follow have a happy Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. Have a happy Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. Have a happy Halloween, Halloween. Halloween. Goddamn remix and pieces of crap. All right, you scumbags. I'm sick of you remixing bastards, you know what I mean? I know you think it's all funny and all cute and all this other nonsense. You're making me look stupid out there, all right? You're making me look stupid. I've told you this time and time again, this show is serious business. And the last thing I need is a bunch of goddamn remixes of a bunch of milky liquors out here remixing my goddamn voice with stupid freaking audio tracks like it's some kind of a goddamn circus sideshow or something, all right? How dare you assholes besmirch my show? How dare you assholes? I'm telling you right now, you assholes will rue the day. You assholes will rue the day that you have done all this nonsense that you have done to me. Because I'll tell you this right now, I am taking the necessary steps, and I have been taking the necessary steps to make sure that I get punitive damages. Punitive damages out of your ass! Jesus Christ, you people are ruining my Halloween, for Christ's sake. What do you think about it? 909, what's up? What do you think about the 7 billionth person? No, they're not They're not bronies, you idiot. 720, what's up? What do you think about the 7 billion people? Uh, I just had a, wanted to make a comment about the people on Occupy Wall Street and the people trolling your chat. Go ahead. Halloween related, that's the thing. Um, you know, there's something really retarded these people do. They all go to these things called anime conventions, and they go out and they go and spend all this money to dress up like anime characters because they can't get accepted in their real life. And and now these assholes are now dressing up as the characters from My Little Pony. And I don't know. I can I can sympathize with you not wanting to give your real name out because these assholes will bother you and say, please come to my con. I want you to come to my con because it's so cool when you throw the beer cans out and whatnot and that kind of shit. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll have to agree with you. You know, I really don't understand all this Comic-Con, all this Anime-Con, all this crap. I mean, you know, I have to agree with you on that. I mean, you know, let's grow up for a little bit here, right? Let's grow the hell up a little bit, all right? I mean, Jesus Christ, you know, all these idiots. And let me tell you something. I bet you money that at least 60% of those assholes on Occupy Wall Street were at Comic-Con at one point in time in their lives. I guarantee it, all right? I guarantee it. And I'd like to ask them, hey, um... All that money that you spent on your stupid costume to dress like your stupid anime character or your stupid comic character, couldn't you have parlayed that capital and put it in, I don't know, some kind of financial instrument that could have made you more money? Um, I didn't know how to do it, so it's my mama's fault. It's my daddy's fault. It's society's fault. It's Wall Street's fault. It's everybody's fault, but my fault. I mean, give me a freaking break. You're damn right. Hey, Occupy Wall Street, I spit on you pricks. You hear me? Puh! Puh! I spit on all of you because you're a bunch of vagabond bums that are moochers of society. You know it, and I know it, boy. Piece of crap. I want to hear from you. 719, what's up? You're on the horn. Yo, bro. I just got to say, 
I'm dressing up as anonymous for Halloween. Oh, great. I'm very proud of you. What are you going to do? Are you going to, you know, yeah, uh, bitch, yeah, bitch we about are it? 99%. We yeah. are the 99%. We are the 99%. We are the 99%. Yeah, we I'm very proud of you. 99%. The whole, the, the, the whole world is watching. The whole world is watching. You just forgot my broadcast. The whole world is watching. You just forgot my broadcast. Thank you very much, you anonymous prick. You just forgot my damn broadcast. I hope you're proud of yourself, Fruit Bowl. Yeah, thank you very much. You anonymous prick. You just forgot my damn broadcast. I hope you're proud of yourself, Fruit Bowl. Wait, what? You just fruited up my broadcast, boy. You fruited it up, for Christ's sake. You might as well throw, it to, throw on some Fruit Bowl music for this Fruit Bowl, for Christ's sake. Go ahead and throw it on. He's fruiting up the broadcast. What is anonymous crap? You better work. Can, 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 we, can we play some Mario, too? Mario! Yeah, go ahead, anonymous Fruit Bowl. Go ahead and prance around. Go ahead. Let's hear you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry, folks. Uh, sorry about that crap. Uh, the engineer, I don't know, he's anticipating some party. He's going to some Halloween get-together or something of that nature. I don't know. I mean, engineer, whenever I tell you to put Fruit Bowl music on, it, it's with the intention of making fun of some idiot calling up, all right? Not so that we can just have a little dance party here. Do you got that, damn it? Jesus Christ. Well, I mean, I bet you these idiots assholes are puckering right now. Look at these fruit bowls. Look at them. I bet you they're all dressed up like freaking tutu, pr- fruity-ass fairies are prancing around, for Christ's sake. They're jumping on their beds. You know what I'm saying? Jesus Christ. Anyway, I've had about enough of this. All right, that's about enough. Screw Kim Kardashian. We know you got a fake plastic ass. You're a piece of crap, you know? You deserve, uh, you know, an Ike Turner backhand from the spirit of Ike Turner himself. So without any further ado, folks, it's Halloween night, for Christ's sake, and it's time for Radio Grippy! <laughs> That's right, folks, and for you folks that don't know what Radio Graffiti is, it is your time in the broadcast to say whatever it is that you have to say on your mind. All you have to do is give me a call right now. 646-652-4869 is the number to call here. Give me a goddamn call, and when I call on your goddamn area code or your Skype name, you've got three to four seconds to say whatever it is that you want to say on your mind. Whatever it is that you want to say on your mind, for Christ's sake, all right? And let me tell you something. You scumbags better not piss me off, or I'll end this quicker than you can say, You understand that? Anyway, it's Halloween, for Christ's sake. I mean, I should be on 6th Street right now. It should be Miller time in 6th Street right now. But we're going to go ahead and take some goddamn radio graffiti callers here. Uh, area code 412, radio graffiti. You're my idol. I want to be... Oh, fuck. Yeah, you see, you messed up because you're an idiot. 561, radio graffiti. That's too, uh, too much treble, asshole. Hey. Shut it up. It's too much treble, you idiot. Get a better phone, all right? You stupid Salvation Army shopping loser. 215, Radio Graffiti. How many phones you got on? What the hell? I mean, give me a freaking break. Can we get through Halloween first, asshole? Uh, Razors and Steve Jobs, Radio Graffiti. Trick or treat, go, trick. 
I mean, <laughs> since you King of Mexico. Oh, man, that's horrible. I mean, laughing at your own jokes, for Christ's sake. I mean, seriously, I hope that you get cancer of the anal cavity with that loser-ass, crap-ass attitude that you got. Buster Hyman, Radio Graffiti. God damn it. Well, let's not start this Christmas crap, all right? It's Halloween, for Christ's sake. God damn it. Enough of this Christmas garbage. African American, Radio Graffiti. Oh, fantasy girl, you're my fantasy girl. Let me smell your dick. Bitch. Yeah, I mean, I mean, this is just ridiculous. I mean, I'm telling you about these remixes, man. They're really starting to get on my freaking nerves. All right. I mean, seriously, I mean, I'm going to be straight up with you, idiots. You're starting to get up my freaking nerves, for Christ's sake, because they're besmirching my broadcast, all right? They're besmirching my broadcast, for Christ's sake, all right? And my show is serious business, all right? I mean, don't you idiots understand that I've got tens of thousands of capitalists that listen to me throughout the world, and they don't want to see this type of of besmirching of my show. Do you understand that? I'm not joking. They don't want to see that this type of besmirching of my program, for Christ's sake. So knock it off. Capitalize this. Radio Graffiti. Time a racist. Time a racist. Time a racist. Time a racist. Stupid asshole. Splicing. Prick ass. Son of a bitch. 502, Radio Graffiti. Happy Nightmare Night. What the hell are you trying to make? Your, was this a gore? Is this a gore imitation, for Christ's sake? Is that, is that what this is? Uh, is this Napalm Death wannabe? <laughs> is this Cannibal Corpse, for Christ's sake? 501, Radio Graffiti. Hey, Ghost. Fuck you. Uh, you're, you're too fruity to be on this broadcast. Get, out, get off, for Christ's sake. Four two three radio graffiti. I'm so fresh, you can suck my nuts. 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 I'm so You gotta be you gotta be shitting me, man, all right? You gotta be shitting me with these freaking goddamn remixes for Christ's sake. Man, I can't say anything! I can't say anything on this show without you goddamn audio splicers making me look stupid, man. I mean, good. Bitch. 
Give me my, give me the mic. Give me the goddamn mic. Give me the mic. Give me the damn mic for Christ's sake. You people are pissing me off. Give me a drink. Give me my drink, for Christ's sake. Uh. Uh. Oh, that's better. Let me get another drink here. I'm warning you idiots, all right? I don't want to hear any more of this crap. Do you understand that, you stupid scumbags? I don't want to hear any more of this crap, all right? This is your final goddamn warning, all right? You piss me off again. God damn it, you're going to get it. 516 Radio Graffiti. Hey, girls, what's shaking? All right, Turkey. 623 Radio Graffiti. I think I fucking love you. Now take about ten steps away from my freaking butt crack with that talk there, boy. 210, Radio Graffiti. Yeah, playing with your Peter Popper. 831, Radio Graffiti. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays, Ghost. God damn it with you Christmas bastard. Shove it up your ass with the Christmas, please, all right? Brinko War, Radio Graffiti. <laughs> That was horrible. I mean, are you kidding me? I mean, seriously, I, I could have, uh, you know, put ha- horse hair on a stick and probably could have played a better tune than that shit. I mean, are you kidding me? That's bad violin, all right? Come on. What are you, what are you in the band, 7th, 8th grade at this point? I mean, Jesus Christ. So what do you got? Tara Strong, Radio Graffiti. I can't believe you fucked all those dogs. Yeah, real funny there, you brony bastard. All right, 818, Radio Graffiti. <coughs> we don't we, we don't want to hear you clear your throat, you stupid bastard, all right? I mean, you know, deep throat on your own time. Uh, 919, Radio Graffiti. Yo, Ghost, how many lowlies have you raped this year? Oh, Halloween. I'm a- I can't even understand you because I don't speak Mexican. 805, Radio Graffiti. Uh, shout out to Costanza. Hey, George, shout out to George Costanza. What are we, 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 a bald freak or what? 971, Radio Graffiti. Good, comrade. Good to see you again. I'm back, baby. Oh, Jesus what? Christ, here's this cockeyed Russian, for Christ's sake. Why don't you go guzzle down some vodka and get the hell out of here, all right? Go jack off to an old picture of Lenin or something, you damn cockeyed Russian. 339, Radio Graffiti. Happy Kwanzaa, Ghost. Kwanzaa? Are you kidding me? Kwanzaa? I mean, who really celebrates Kwanzaa, for Christ's sake? You know what I mean? I mean, come on with the Kwanzaa crap. I mean, seriously, it's a joke. I mean, it's like it's like when the Mexicans tried to come out with poncho claws. Are you all familiar with this? Yeah, I mean, you know, believe it or not, they tried to come out with poncho claws uh, out, out in, you know, some of the southern Texas area and southern Califas area. You know what I'm saying? I'm not joking. Anyway, 580 Radio Graffiti. <laughs> Taking too long, you idiot. Exara Hawks, Radio Graffiti. Welcome to the True Capitalist Radio Halloween Special. <laughs> Anyway, thanks, Xara Hawks. That really kicked ass, man. 509, Radio Graffiti. Merry Christmas, darling. Oh, 
Jesus Christ. What are, you, what are you playing? What are you playing there, man? What is that crap? Jesus Christ. 269, Radio Graffiti. Yeah, how many people do you have hanging in your front yard? How old are you? Uh, 16. You're lying. You're eight years old, for Christ's sake. I mean, where's your mammy? Shouldn't you be out there trick-or-treating, for Christ's sake? What are you doing on here? Um, I don't know. I heard about this ro- or rodeo from my friend. You heard a rodeo from your friend? Well, why yeah. aren't you out trick-or-treating? Yeah, I did, but my sister wanted to stay with me, so she went out with one of her friends. She went out with one of her friends? What a, what a dirty broad. Are you kidding me? She didn't even take you out trick-or-treating, for Christ's sake? What, are you home alone? Uh, hey, I love your show, man. Uh, I appreciate it, man. I mean, go out trick-or-treating or something, little kid. I mean, that's a shame. Did everybody hear that right there? Did everybody hear that? Some young little kid is not going to go trick-or-treating tonight. He's out here listening to the True Capitalist radio broadcast because his sister is going out getting the high hard one by somebody that looks good in a leather jacket, and Ma is deciding to go out and dress up like some French-made outfit at the club, for Christ's sake, looking for an ethnic minority to bring home tonight that'll give her the high hard one, for Christ's sake. I mean, I feel for these kids out here, man. I feel for these kids. Jesus Christ, 617 Radio Graffiti, that's horrible. Well, you're just playing with your Peter Popper, for Christ's sake. I mean, give me a break. Uh, 573 Radio Graffiti. Oh, man, I want to stick my penis in an underage horse. In an underage horse, for Christ's sake? You sick son of a bitch. I mean, what are you, you know, one of those midget horses? I mean, that's a freaky sight. Have you ever seen those little midget horses, for Christ's sake? I mean, who was the asshole that genetically altered the horse's uh, DNA to, to come up with this freak show concoction? Seriously. Has anybody seen those little horses? I mean, they're like midget horses, man. It's like they're literally like a foot tall, for Christ's sake. They got a midget horse, for Christ's sake. I mean, what are we supposed to do with a midget horse, huh? What are we supposed to do? I mean, it isn't going to be able to tow a goddamn uh, coach or anything, you know what I mean? It ain't going to be able to, you know, uh, be able to tow goods on its back or anything. It's a little stupid midget horse. It's useless. Anyway, 832, Radio Graffiti. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Who's this? What's up? Trick or three, it's uh, Ash. Oh, it's Ashhole. How you doing? Hey, uh, how, how did the things turn out with you and your sister when she caught you smoking marijuana? It was my aunt. Oh, your aunt. Uh, well, 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 how did things work out between you and your aunt? Not good. Not really? good. Really? What, what happened? Why don't you explain to us what happened? A lot of drama? Um, She didn't give me food. She like. Are you kidding me? Like, so, so, know, so that like, that's she her punishment. Me like bad. It, it was that, child abuse. That that's that's I know that's punishment for Christ's sake. You smoke marijuana now. I'm not going to feed you. I mean, what kind of crap is that? I mean, you know, the least she could have done is given you a couple of backhands and thrown you in the room and then throw some, uh, uh, you know, a ham sandwich uh, or something like that in, the, in your room with you for Christ's sake. But what she's depriving you food for Christ's sake, so she didn't give you the bean and cheese or what? Uh, I'm attending rehab in one month. Uh, for one week. What, what? Rehab? What, for weed? Yeah. Yeah. You're going to go to rehab for weed, asshole? Are you kidding me? Well, that's my aunt. Oh, my you know, God. Where, where's your mother? I, where's your mother, man? She doesn't take care of me. That's why I'm not going trick or treating. My aunt, like, she doesn't care about me. Oh, my God. Ashole, you know, you're making me feel sorry for you, man. You know that? I mean, you, you shouldn't have to be going through this. I mean, I know that you're a little Mexican kid with, you know, Justin Bieber hair. But regardless, you should not be going through this type of nonsense, man. I, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling for you, Ashole. I mean, do you want me to call your aunt or something and, and, and you know, tell her how to raise a, a child properly or something? I mean, do you need my help? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah? Well, I'll tell you what. Yeah. I'll tell you what, you, you email me, and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll help you, all right, asshole? I'll help you. You email me that goddamn uh, aunt's number of hers, and I'll be more than happy to give her a call and tell her, hey, you stupid, dumb, stupid vieja, you can't treat children by depriving them food. You can't punish children by depriving them food, you stupid, dumb old vieja. God damn it. 
I feel sorry for asshole. Look at him. He's not even going to go trick-or-treating tonight. Look at him. You know, he's staying with his aunt. His, his mom's out there at Applebee's. You know, I mean, uh, save asshole, all right? Save asshole is all I got to say. Good Lord. I feel bad for that kid. 360 Radio Graffiti. Let me smell your skin. Here we go with the stupid dumb remixes again. 440 Radio Graffiti. Now you're taking too long, you stupid milky liquor. 417 Radio Graffiti. I'm conjuring the spirit of Osama bin Laden this Halloween. Yeah, well, I'm very proud of you. You know, hopefully he, you know, sticks a damn uh, suicide bomb on your anal cavity. Uh, 479, Radio Graffiti. And you know what's awesome, and you know it's cool. Fuck you, die. Wasn't that what? true? What, 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 what damn language are you singing uh, me in? Fucking Swahili? What the hell is that? <laughs> You're a fag. Uh, what are you talking about? You're the one singing to me, for Christ's sake. You're on me. Bing, ding, ding, no, ding, no, no. I mean, you're the one doing this crap. Jesus Christ, get this idiot off, for Christ's sake. 270, Radio Graffiti. Hey, Ghost, 424, adopt that show. Capitalism, baby. Yeah, I know. I mean, everybody's like, you know, everybody's saying that as a joke, but, I mean, you know, this is serious. I mean... Poor asshole, you know, not only is he being abused by having food deprived from him, for Christ's sake, but they're sending this poor kid to rehab for weed? I mean, give me a break for weed, for Christ's sake, man. I mean, I mean why don't you just stop giving the kid money? He ain't going to be able to get it. How about that? How about just stop giving him money and he'll stop getting it, all right? Do you think that his friends are going to like him so much? They're going to be like, hey, you know what, asshole? Here. Here's a half ounce of weed on me, you know? And they're going to give him a half ounce every uh, every week? No, it's not going to happen, all right? Just stop s- stop giving him money, all right? But continue feeding him. Give him the bean and cheese, all right? Assholes, aunt, give him the bean and cheese. All right, who else we got over here? Uh, Banjo, or, uh, Banjo the Bear, Radio Graffiti. <laughs> Real, real funny, asshole. Real funny. <laughs> real funny, you stupid moron. Yeah, the goat strikes back. Yeah, real funny. Yeah, screw all of you people laughing at that crap. Screw all of you. 810 Radio Graffiti. You know, asshole wouldn't be in the situation if we lived in a socialist country. Yes, he would, you stupid moron. And the only difference is that he'd be waiting in a line for a loaf of bread, and hopefully that he was, uh, hopefully he was in a, a position in line to get a loaf. For Christ's sake, Jesus Christ! Uh, who else do we got? We got two eight one radio graffiti. Yo, this uh, love the show, love the show, ghost. Want to uh, make a shout out to uh, Go Jews dot com, Jews dot Jews dot com. Jews.com. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, f- uh, f- what is it? Fear the Swap. Radio Graffiti. Be you. That's a horrible splice. 909 Radio Graffiti. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Two, uh, 626 Radio Graffiti. All right. I mean, you people are making me sick. You know that? You people are making me sick here. But hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a call real, real quick. I, I mean, supposedly I got a number, and I just want to see what this number is, and uh, we'll go ahead and move on with the show thereafter. All right? We got a number here, and I just want to see what it is, and uh, and then we'll move on. All right? See what we got going on here. Hello? Yeah, it was a fake number. I kind of knew it. Uh, who else we got? We got El Foxo Loco, Radio Graffiti. Or you can suck my balls, suck my balls. Police all have AIDS. Got them one day from a bounce house day. I'm about to be perfect. Sick son of a bitch. Uh, who else we got? 520, Radio Graffiti. Hello, Ghost. I'd like to play a game. For years now, you've been faking rage in order to increase your own popularity. That will all come to an end. Asher was under my control. 
you do not save him, you will both die. The clock is ticking. That was horrible. You know, you don't even sound deep enough to be able to pull that off, you know. Typically, when people uh, say those types of messages, they have a deep voice that sound authoritative and sound like they know what they're talking about. You sound like some uncertain little feminized prick. Uh, six two, uh, 262, Radio Graffiti. Hey, guys, man, how you doing? Just give me a few seconds. There is a, uh, a movement against the 99% now. We are called the We Are the 50% move, 53% move. Oh, oh, shut up. Are you, are you, who cares, all right? 213, Radio Graffiti. Hey, guys, I'm dating your son. Can I call you Poppy? Are you a Mexican? Yes. I kind of figured you were, for Christ's sake. Go choke on a rubber tortilla. 712, Radio Graffiti. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you're, you're you're taking too long. Cosmo Brockington, Radio Graffiti. Everybody party at that ghost. That's what I'm saying. Two girls and one couple. Go, oh, man. Come on, man. Damn it, you, you goddamn remixers, man. You goddamn remixers are pissing me the freak off. 703, Radio Graffiti. Oh. There was this damn vibrator again, for Christ's sake. Shove that vibrator up your ass! 303, Radio Graffiti. Hey, Gunk, it's me. Happy Halloween, man. Uh, happy Halloween. 423, Radio Graffiti. Come and talk to me. I really wanna be... Uh, turn that shit down, for Christ's sake. 901, Radio Graffiti. Five oh eight radio graffiti. Happy Hanukkah ghost, I know you're a Jew. I'm not a Jew, you stupid over feminized fruit bowl. Alright? Nine three six radio graffiti. Yeah, I'm gonna order uh the uh the large T Well, uh, you know, order it and shove it up your clogged up pooper, all right? Nine one two radio graffiti. Yo ghost I'm I can't even understand you because your cheap ass Salvation Army bought phone is staticking up your little fr- fruity ass feminized voice. Nine seven one radio graffiti. Ghost, come on, why do you hang up on me? Stupid dumb Russian man, go get drunk on vodka, you asshole. Navy Husky radio graffiti. Hot, 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 say, hot, good, hot, say, I fell. Am I supposed to feel sorry for you? Is that what you're trying to do? Say, is good, say, damn it, Navy Husky, enough of Enough of all of you! I've had enough! Alright? This is Halloween! I should be getting a little bit more respect in this, for Christ's sake! There should be a little bit, a little bit of goddamn respect, for Christ's sake, but no! You don't even have a goddamn... Oh! 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 Piece of crap! I'm through with this goddamn broadcast, all right? I'm through with it. As a matter of fact, here, give me the mic. Give me the goddamn mic. Let me tell you something, you scumbags. You're going to be lucky. You'll be lucky if I come here tomorrow or any other day of the week, for that matter. You people have pissed me off. Let me open up another beer here. Miller. I'm out of here. I'm going to be drinking beer. I'm going to be on 6th Street. It's Miller time, baby. You understand that? It's Miller time. I'm out of here. Dumb scumbags are going to sit over here. Get me out of here, engineer. I'm not going to sit over here and take this crap from these stupid sorry sacks of crap. Get me out of here. You've been listening to True Capitalist Radio. The thoughts, views, ideas, comments, and opinions of the host of this show are absolutely his. If you want a shout-out right here, right now on the broadcast, what you need to do is go to my Twitter account. Ghost Politics is the name. All right? All one word, no underscores, Milky Lickers. All right? And retweet the first tweet on the Twitter account. All right? Do it right now, and I will give you a shout-out right here, right now on the True Capitalist Radio Broadcast. All right, who do we got going on here? We've got uh, Engineer is a Spy, Exara Hawks in the place, Evil Bronze, uh, a three-hour waste of time. I shove it up your ass, all right? If it's a waste of time, don't listen! Don't listen! Uh, who else we got going on? We got Shad Tiger. Uh, we've got Dark Razors in the place. Uh, who the hell else do we got, Engineer? I didn't really appreciate, you know, that last goddamn name. Well, who else do we got? 
All right, let's go ahead and see who we got. Go ahead and put it on the screen. All right, we've got uh, LX Legendary, The Metals 1. We got Discelio, uh, King of Escrement. You sick son of a bitch. Uh, we've got somebody named Ian345. Uh, we got Boss Castle. Uh, we've got Sir Amitav. Uh, who the hell else do we got? We got Flaming Nipple Chop back in the house once again on this Halloween edition over here. Old Flamin' Nipple Chop. Who else do we got? We got Rubric Alou in the house. Uh, we got somebody named Occupy My... Uh, geez, Occupy the Pooper. Occupy... Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, we've got uh, Burning Wiener. Uh, who else we got? Uh, we got Vibrator Ghost. Uh, real funny jerk dick. Uh, we got Texas Cooking. Ah, uh, Jesus Christ, you stupid scumbags. Let me tell you something right now, you idiots. All right? You idiots that keep making fun of the the wildfires that happen here in Texas, you ain't going to be laughing when the agriculture and the livestock that was destroyed in this state cause an increase in everything that you buy at the supermarkets, huh? Yeah, that's right. You keep laughing. You keep laughing. <laughs> you keep laughing. Milky liquors, all right? I mean, we're dealing with scorched earth down here in Texas, you milky liquors. We're dealing with scorched freaking earth. You idiots don't give a crap. Look at you. Look at you. You don't give a crap. You, you people are scumbags. You know that? You people are scumbags. This is a Halloween edition. Do you understand that I don't even have to be up here on this broadcast, milky liquors? Huh? I mean, I could be on 6th Street right now. They've closed off all of 6th Street. Everybody's out in the street. Let me, let me, let me get to the damn window, for Christ's sake. Let me get, this, get to the goddamn window. I mean, look at this crap. Look at it. you got people all over the streets, for Christ's sake. I could be down there partying milli time, baby. But instead, what am I doing? I'm sitting here messing with you stupid milky liquors. And it makes me sick. It makes me sick to my stomach, for Christ's sake. Let me tell you something. You people are pushing your luck, scumbags. You're pushing your luck. You keep calling. You keep talking garbage about me and see what happens. All right. Anyway, we got anonymous plomo in the house. Uh, we got uh, who else? We got we got eggs ghost house. Uh, egg ghost's house. Egg ghost's house. You stupid scumbag. You come over here and egg my house and see if I don't throw some shots back with hollow points. You son of a bitch. Who else we got? We got Tex Hex in the place. We got William Walsh in the house. Uh, who the hell else do we got? Uh, that, that's it. Look at these scumbags. Yes, yeah, yeah, Scorched Texas. Eh, hot deals in Texas. <laughs> scumbags. I'm not going to do any more of these goddamn Twitter shoutouts. These people are being scumbags and idiots. All of them. Jesus Christ. Anyway, we are in the third and final hour of the True Capitalist Radio broadcast. And, of course, I am your host, the man they call Ghost. And once again, folks, I want to thank you very much for tuning in with me. It's Halloween, for Christ's sake. It's Halloween. So I hope that uh, you folks are all in the festive mood. I wonder if you're all getting ready, huh? Uh, you stupid. I'm such a good bronies out here, huh? I bet you these goddamn bronies are putting on their, their horse heads on. You know, they're putting their horse heads on. You know, they're putting the little uh, cutie marks on their asses. You know, they're prancing around the little pink tutus, for Christ's sake, huh? Oh, yeah, they're going to go out there with a little stupid uh, uh, prancing session asking for, oh, yeah, can I have um, a sugar daddy? I like sugar daddies. You stupid brony fruit balls. I bet you would like a fr you would like a sugar daddy, wouldn't you? Huh? Huh? All you want to do is be a little fruit bowl that watches My Little Pony all day while, while some old prostate-infected sugar daddy takes care of your stupid fruit bowl ass, huh? Ah, uh, but that's what, yeah, that's what you want, huh? Yeah, I knew it. I know. I know it for all you stupid bronies. Jesus Christ. Anyway, for Christ's sake, uh, before we get into anything else, uh, I, I'd like to uh, have everybody please retweet the first tweet on my Twitter account. All right, Ghost Politics is the name to follow on Twitter. All one word, no underscores, folks. All right. And if you want to shout out right here, right now, all you've got to do, all you've got to do is retweet the first tweet on the Twitter account, and I will give you a shout out right here, live, on the air, all right? 
Um, all right, let's go ahead and take it here. Uh, do, do we got any uh, Twitter shout-outs there, Engineer? Well, uh, according to the engineer, we do have some Twitter shout-outs, but, uh, you know, he's, according to him, they're still the same obnoxious names uh, that we've been seeing uh, time and time again. So we're just going to try it here for a second. If we still see these obnoxious, disgusting, despicable names, uh, then we're just going to stop it. You know, we're, we're just going to stop it, for Christ's sake. Anyway, we've got Tenacious Carrot in the place. Weed Wax is in the house. Uh, we got LOL at Gaddafi. Uh, we got Discord Rules, Gobble Wobble 918, uh, we got Edward Drive 1, uh, we've got Occupy 6th Street, oh yeah, real funny, asshole, real funny. We got Meredith V, 2012, here we go with the Meredith V era fixation, for Christ's sake. I mean, look, I mean, I, I don't get the Meredith V era fixation, I don't know if, you know, y'all think that she's a hot MILF or... I don't know. I don't get it. All right. I don't get what the what the fixation is. All right. But if you're going the hot milf route, I mean, don't you think that you should have admired her about you know ten or fifteen years ago when she first started the View? You remember that? Remember when they had that Chinese broad on there? Remember that? Uh, they went Chinese broad and they had uh, uh, Star Jones pre stomach staple surgery. All right. I mean, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, th that's when you should have been jocking Meredith Vieira. But, I mean, now look at her, for Christ's sake, man. I mean, Jesus Christ, she looks horrible. I mean, you know, she she looks like she's got a reamed-out mouth. Have you seen the mouth frowns on that broad, for Christ's sake? I mean, it looks like she was given oral compilation of John Holmes or something, for Christ's sake, man. Her face, I mean, it looks stretched out. You know what I mean? It looks stretched out like the mouth was... Uh, open wide for a long period of time on a consistent basis. All right, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, and I forgot where I where, where was I for Christ's sake, engineer. Where was I? All right, we're still giving shout outs here. All right, uh, who else do we got? We got uh, Loud071. Uh, we've got Furries for Ghosts. Ah, Christ. Oh, my God, you stupid, sick-ass furries, man. I mean, come on. Come on. You're not animals, all right, you primitive pricks, all right? You're not animals, all right, you sick sons of bitches, for Christ's sake. I mean, that is like one step away from sniffing a fart out of a dog's ass. Do you understand that? I mean, that, seriously, furries is one step away from penetrating a sheep's vulva. You know it, and I know it. So don't sit over here and say, oh, there's nothing wrong with being a fairy. There's nothing wrong. Oh, oh, yeah, okay, sure, great. You're sick. You're sick. Just like these bronies, for Christ's sake. I mean, at least, though, at least a furry, you know, can go out and, you know, uh, find a, a willing dog or a willing cat to screw or something. I mean, these bronies, you know, they're, they're borderline pedophile, if you want my personal opinion. All right? I mean, this is Woody Allen butt-loving pedophile type crap, all right? But I still don't like both of you characters because it's ridiculous. I mean, couldn't you start it? Couldn't you have started up a, a, a another trend or another idea to socialize you people to to bring you all together? Couldn't you come up with another idea like, hey, I like beer, or you know, hey, I like to go out and and be a good person, and I like to go out and do community service, or, hey, I like to go out, I mean, I mean bronies and furries, for Christ's sake, huh? Bronies and furries, all right? I mean, don't you think there's something wrong with you stupid, uh, ridiculous space cadet idiots? I mean, seriously. I mean, grow the hell up, you stupid fruit bowls, all right? And I know, I know... It's not your fault. You were all raised by your mammy. I know there's no fatherly influence. And every time I hear a brony call up with his over-feminized voice, I always call him out. I always say, hey, there was no fatherly influence, wasn't there? And what do they say? They always go, ah, uh, no, it wasn't any father. My father left. No, your father didn't leave. All right? Your mother decided, I don't need a man. I can raise my son all by myself. And I'm going to divorce this man and take him for 50% of what he's got. And then I'm going to take him for alimony and child support 
so I can support myself and be a cougar and hear me roar. Stupid idiots. Oh, these people are bored. Hey, engineer, lock down the chat room. Lock down that damn chat room. They're bored, for Christ's sake. Let's make them even more bored. How about that? Let's make them even more bored. <laughs> How about we play a song? How about that? How about we play a very, 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 very long song, huh? How about that, you stupid milky liquors, huh? You want to mess with me? You want to mess with me on Halloween, you scumbags, huh? You think you're bored? I'll make you bored, you stupid scumbag, no life, having pieces of furry, brony crap, huh? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, look at you, you damn butt nugget, searching ass pirate, having butt plug up the ass looking chicken eating corn boy crap. Huh? Let's go ahead and put on a goddamn song on for these people because apparently they're bored. They're bored. Yeah, shove it up your ass. You idiots are lucky we're not in a goddamn bar room, boy. You understand that? You're lucky you ain't in a goddamn bar room because I'd start kicking ass and taking names. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'd be like uh, Rowdy Roddy Piper on, uh, you know, They Live, for Christ's sake, going into that bank. You know what I'm saying? I'll just go in there and say, I am here to chew bubble gum and kick ass, but I'm all out of bubble gum. And just start clocking people. You know, just start kicking.